my beloved love. And subconsciously, even though you are a very powerful and self-aware awakened to divine feminine energy here, you may have subconsciously kept yourself stuck in a lower vibrational holding pattern because you were afraid to release something or someone from your life. Maybe for someone I'm speaking to here, there may have been a little bit of subconscious fear that if you were to fully empower yourself, to fully heal yourself, that you would lose that person or thing altogether. And I'm hearing that when you heal yourself, you don't lose anything. You allow everything to transform. And so I feel like there's almost been, like, one last piece or one last thing about your past or a past version of you that maybe you've been holding on to or you've been afraid to fully look at or fully allow yourself to heal. And that seems to be coming up with this surge of motivation, this surge of inspiration to be healed at this time. Now, I am getting that with the Page of Cups upright. This represents a very sensitive, comforting, loving kind of energy, a deeper level of emotional awareness as well. So I'm getting this will connect in different ways. For some of you listening, this may be an energy that you're cultivating within yourself. In a sense, you are creating this aura of peace, of comfort, of happiness around yourself, of self-awareness, of your own emotional world, and connectedness to those inner emotions. For others of you, this could actually be a new person externally that you're connecting with. So this could be someone externally who is helping to bring this love, comfort, healing, kindness into your life. This might be futuristic for some of you. So this might be someone that you feel coming into your life. This could be romantic, platonic. This even could be someone like a counselor or a professional, a life coach, someone in your life to guide you and to help you to find that sense of comfort and peace within yourself. But for many of you, this will be something you're either cultivating internally or it will be someone that's actually entered your life recently or will be entering your life in the near future. Above all else, this has a very strong vibe of friendship with the Three of Cups upright. This feels like someone or an energy, if it's not a person, who really allows you to bring in a happy time where you are reintroducing your new, empowered, higher vibrational version of self to the world in a more visceral way than before. Because I'm getting that in the past, you may have kept yourself very closed off, either for the purpose of healing, of strengthening yourself, of achieving some kind of goal, or because you are holding on to some kind of divine masculine energy from your past that kept you a little bit isolated or closed off from the rest of the world. And I'm getting that all of that has shifted in a powerful way. I'm gearing, the door is open. Are you going to step through it? And right as I said that, we have the star card. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe. Hello beautiful souls. I feel like the last few weeks have been a really powerful time for whoever I'm speaking to here at this deeply spiritual level. A lot of this feels connected to some of the astrological transits taking place at this time as well. The energy is picking up so fast that at times I can barely keep up with my words here, which tells me that it's your energy. Your energy is really beginning to build a kind of momentum that's beginning to break through the surface in ways that you might feel as a sudden surge of inspiration or motivation to change or shift something about your life, or simply to allow some kind of beautiful new energy into your life. So with this star card as well, I'm hearing the healer must allow themselves to heal. I feel like someone I'm speaking to here has always had a really healing presence when it comes to connecting with others but might at times not give themselves the same degree of healing energy that they give to others. Again, there is that theme here of you, divine feminine, taking that power, taking that healing energy, taking that love, and really turning it back in yourself. And I'm hearing that is really boosting your sense of self-confidence as well, as you feel and sense yourself replenishing in the light of your own positive focus and attention. This also feels generally like a time where you've gone through a very intense purging, most likely in the last few weeks. There has been a lot of really heavy, really intense energy coming up. And I feel that many things have been brought to the surface for the purpose of being released, so that you could shift into this time of spiritual replenishment, 
renewal in these very positive shifts forward. So, what is being healed here with the star card? Okay, so we have three of cups. That's interesting. So the three of cups might actually be connecting with this new energy as well. That sense of beginning to open yourself back up to the world. A very celebratory, happy time. And it's almost like a purging had to take place again, possibly over the last few weeks, to really shift you into this happier, more celebratory time. I see that specifically with the chariot card here in the upright position, that certain obstacles are being overcome, certain breakthroughs are coming through, positive change that you are cultivating within yourself or your life. Some of this seems to come through, I'm hearing, willpower of focus. So really holding steady to your focus on something, whether that's focus on a visualization, on a dream, a goal, some kind of outcome here. But this feels like positive focus and holding that focus in a determined kind of way, bringing the overcoming of obstacles or major breakthroughs in your life. Specifically, these breakthroughs may be related to frustrating cycles in your work, finances, or whatever you consider to be your life work or life purpose. Whether that's something that you feel you found or something that you are still working to discover or uncover within yourself. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe. 